Welcome everyone to One Avenue News. As we journey together, let's journey for solution and not confusion. United we win, my people, out of love. Senator Scott Motley. Mr. President, I rise to make a few remarks which I consider are pertinent. And I do understand why we are here and the necessity of all being here. But I don't think at the same time that we can just make it a, a trivial matter. The, what, the reason why we are here because the fact of that error being made described by the minister as a transcription error The fact that this error has been made. It, it is indeed a deep honor. No, it's a free for all. I mean, <laughs> that you should be in the chair, acting as president, Senator Brim, is something that strikes me today. If it were to be made permanent, I would no, certainly I not withhold my vote. But as you have the Constitution in your hand, you will be able to see that I think it is section 114. Don't quote me. I might be wrong. But the whole point of it is that the Constitution lays down in particular that these matters ought not to be present in the Appropriations Act. And the truth of it, Mr. President, is that this is the very first time that this has ever happened. And in the context of the way in which the Minister of Finance presented his budget, It is disturbing because it reflects very negative, negatively on him. You see, it is a tone which has been adopted by him with the props. Somebody of his intellectual rigor resorts to paper around the parliament, speaking very disparagingly about persons who have held positions in this parliament as Minister of Finance and Leader of Opposition, Papa Tax and Master Mark, and the way in which he presents himself. Red card. This is a red card. But I'm rising to speak because there has been a tendency in this parliament and indeed in the Senate to give legislation less than what it deserves. And let me say it, this kind of scrutiny which is required in this the upper house is sometimes quite lacking. And it is in this context that I ask, how could a transcription error not be detected having gone through so many various channels, standing finance, checking by the ministry, all of those. How would this error have remained undetected until after the bill was passed? Because we are all very sensitive to the importance of this bill. This is a people's budget. This is the most significant act that takes place in the parliament. This is what determines whether people 
eat, whether people drive, whether people have water in their tanks, whether people have water in their pipes, whether teachers can teach, whether the tools and the resources are available for the development of this country is the most important piece of legislation that is tabled. And the Constitution directs how it should be done. So, with a government who boasts every day during the budget debate of how it has achieved the best macroeconomic policies that we have ever seen in this country, without giving any credit to those who assisted in that heavy lifting. When you have during a budget presentation, people being evaluated and not recognized for the contribution that they have made to this country. And when you have props being pulled out and red cards being given out, it reflects very negatively on this administration. And it raises some serious governance issues which we cannot just slide by as a transcription error. We cannot do that. That's just That's Never before in the history of our parliament has this ever happened. And my position is quite clear, you know. I know that mistakes are made. I know that mistakes are made. But the question I ask, Minister, is how this one was never detected until days after the budget was passed? Somebody never Who was not looking? Somebody never listened. Who was not looking? So, so everything just comes and we just, it just, we just overlook it? Transcription. You see, I have seen it here with laws passed. Huh? I have observed it. And I observe, I sometimes I observe that in spite of the fact that the omissions or the errors or the likelihood of misinterpretation has been pointed out, it is decided that nonetheless the law will go to the Governor General for assent. I have noticed it. But I never expected that it would happen with the most important piece of legislation. Well, I was delighted to hear that the minister was actually giving an interview this morning because I had noted that after the budget, he was very available to the media. One hour interviews on television, one program one night, the same program the next night in defense of the budget which he had presented, asking for the encomiums, although not openly, promise made, promise kept. Promise made, promise kept. Sometimes a little humbling is required by the universe. Mr. President, I take very seriously the points that Senator Brown has made. The opposition will not stand in the way of an amendment that is required because ultimately we are here doing the people's business. That's what the opposition is But I would say that this exercise, this issue which has arisen should be a lesson to the government that sometimes you make haste slowly. And I'm not talking about the budget now when I speak. I'm talking about other pieces of legislation which have come to this parliament because a box has to be ticked. Even though it is flawed. And right now we are having a joint select committee looking at one such that was passed December 2023. 
which in my view was an indication, an example of making haste to get something on record. So Mr. President, I don't think I have any need to detain anybody any further. You know, before I rose to speak, I remembered a poem which was written by William Butler Yeats. Mm -hmm. And I just want to tell you the first three lines and leave those with you without further comment. It says, turning and turning in the widening gar, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Things fall apart, the center cannot hold, if it pleases you. Closing out for now, this is One Avenue News. Avenue for your news, views, reviews, and much more. New spot on the block where we chat. Looking forward to meet you in the comment section. So click the subscription button, turn on notification bell. Let's journey together. And please remember, we need solution, not confusion. United we win my people, art of love.